and welcome. This is the second part to a dual upload. Um, my last video was me putting on my face makeup. I showed you my favorite eco-friendly products, not totally zero waste, but almost there. So if you want to check that out, hit the card above and it'll also be linked at the end of the video and in the description. So check that out. You don't have to do it now. You're already here. Let's take some time together because today I am going to be showing you my zero waste skincare. Gizmo is extremely excited about it, so am I. Um, skincare was something that I was a little bit weird about with the beginning of my zero waste journey. It was kind of tough to find the products that worked with my skin. Um, you know, skincare is a very personal thing, so it does take some time, it takes some investment because skincare products tend to be a little pricey, especially when they are on the natural, healthy, vegan, and zero waste side. Um, Gizmo's really chatting. So I am going to show you what works for me. Uh, this will not work for everybody because we are all very different and just be patient with yourself and it's a journey. Keep reminding yourself that. So um, I have all my products in front of me now. I'm going to talk a little bit about them and a little bit about my journey with all of them. <laughs> um, but before jumping into it, I just want to make a disclaimer. I find it's very important to say this, especially when you're talking about zero waste products. Um, the products you own right now are probably more sustainable than the ones you're going to buy. Hear me out. Don't throw out your products just because you want to buy eco-friendly ones. Use them up and, you know, use them. They're not going to do anybody any justice being in the trash. Use them and then when you're done, you can then move on to a new product. So I just wanted to say that um, I find that a lot of people, when they find the zero waste trend, just purge everything um, and then buy all new things, which can be very wasteful because you don't want to put stuff in the trash that doesn't have to be there. That was my spiel. We can now move into the skincare. <laughs> I just did my makeup um, and now we're going to take it off because I have nowhere to go. So my favorite way to take makeup off is by using these awesome little scrap fabrics that I made myself. Um, it's a bunch of just different white and black old t-shirts that I um, overlocked the edges. There are plenty of videos online about how to do this. The white ones get a little dirty, so if you're gonna do it and you have black scrap fabric, definitely go that route. Um, but yeah, this is just my jar. I'm reluctant to say mason jar because I got yelled at last time, but this is a jar full of them. Um, and yeah, I just keep this on the side of my sink and I take one of these and I use it to take my makeup off. So you can obviously use this with regular liquid makeup remover, but I actually use rosehip oil. So you can use basically any face oil here. Um, I just squirt it into my hands and rub it directly onto my eyelashes, into my eyebrows, and the oil breaks up the mascara and eyeliner, whatever you're wearing, like instantly. So I just rub it in, look like a raccoon for a hot sec. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then I take one of these and I just wipe it off and it comes off instantly your eyes do feel a little bit oily but it's really great for your eyelashes and your eyebrows it hydrates them and it actually makes them grow faster so my eyelashes have gotten so much thicker since i started doing this um and then when this is dirty you just toss it into the um washer the laundry <laughs> toss this into the laundry and yeah that's about it for removing makeup um and so as i said your face will feel a little bit oily because of the oils you just put on your face. Um, then I like to go right into my face wash. This is my holy grail face wash and it took me a really long time to find it, but it is amazing. This is just a small cube of it. It comes like this, insert photo. Um, it is from Sage and they are a holistic aromatherapy company and they are so luxurious and amazing. But surprisingly, this chunk is one of four chunks. This full container was like less than ten dollars and it has lasted me so much because I cut it into fours and I have one in my shower one at my sink one in my travel bag and the other one is just standing by until one of them gets used I got that bar of soap 
over a year ago and I still have not made it through one um, of these cubes. So I just roll this around in my hand for a few seconds. It suds up a lot, wash it off. Um, I rub it into my eyes. I don't have sensitive skin, but uh, be careful when you're washing your eyes with this. Obviously, if you get soap in your eyes, it does burn, but I just kind of go in and I wash all my makeup off um, with it and it's not a problem unless I open my eyes, obviously. Don't open your eyes while you're washing your face. Um, okay, so I rinse that off and because it is a bar of soap, sometimes you get that uh, that like dry-ish, squeaky clean feeling that you can get with bars of soap. This doesn't do that that much. Um, I have used other face washes that strip my face of all the oils completely and it's like disgusting and dry and cracks and itchy. This doesn't do that. Definitely try it out. It's my favorite face wash ever so far. Um, but you do feel a little bit dry after you wash your face. So um, you're gonna wanna take your face lotion and this is my holy grail face lotion. I've said it in so many videos before this and I will continue to say it. This is the Grown Alchemist the Hydra Repair Day Cream um, and I will use this till the day I die. It is in a recyclable container. Um, this little plastic bit here you should probably throw out it might be recyclable. I'm gonna put it in landfill. I kind of talked about it in my last video. Um, it's such a, such a small piece of plastic. I would feel safer knowing that it's going to landfill where it will stay um, other than going to a recycling facility where things aren't bagged and you know, mixed recyclables can get <laughs> tossed around and this might end up into our waterways. I live near the water so it's pretty close to home for me. I'm gonna put this in the <laughs> into the landfill. Um, Long story short, might also be a controversial topic. I can make a whole video about that if you're interested, um, but that's another <laughs> that's another day. Uh, so that's my face lotion. I put that all over. It feels phenomenal. Um, sometimes in the winter, I will do two coats of that just because it absorbs into my skin so quickly and it smells phenomenal. So after face lotion, that's basically all it is. Um, but I have two other products here that are kind of just like accessories or um, for spot treatment for blemishes. I have this cute little um, pimple popper. I don't even know what the term for this is, but uh, I got it off Etsy. It was like $10, which is kind of a lot for this, but um, it is on this natural piece of wood and it's handmade and I bought it during the peak of COVID and I figured it would be very helpful to someone to buy something handmade from them um, and give them a little bit of revenue. So that is just a little thing that I think is fun to have. You don't need this obviously, but it is zero waste and eco-friendly. And then this is my favorite spot treatment that I've ever had and used and it works on all the pimples I've ever had um, and so many other things too and it's tea tree oil. Um, this one, oh, <laughs> this one vial will last so long, it's ridiculous. Um, usually I just take the top off and I'll tap the tip of my finger here and that little bit of oil that just got onto my finger, I will pat all around um, and it smells so good. I have a theory that you either love the way it smells or you hate it and there's no in between. Let me know below if you like or hate the smell of tea tree oil. Um, but that works on all the blemishes on your face. If you do have sensitive skin, I would try to dilute it maybe in rosehip oil. Um, it can be really strong and really, really drying to any um, blemishes. So if you have drier skin, I would say maybe steer away from it. But if you have mm, like normal average skin, is that what it's called? Combination skin? <laughs> I have combination skin. So it works for me around my nose, my T area, anywhere that I get pretty oily. You hear that? He's kissing my foot right now. Um, but anyways, those are my skincare products. This mom wants to say hi. <laughs> okay, and that concludes this surprisingly quick and short video. Gizmo loves when I make these videos. I hope you like when I make them too. He thinks I'm talking to him. I'm really talking to you. I hope you learned something here. Um, if you try out any of these products, please let me know if you like them or if you hate them because obviously skincare is a very touchy thing. Uh, but don't get discouraged. This journey of finding these products that work for me took 
over a few years, uh, which is really surprising. But if you are slowly using up your products and trying new things, you know, you're gonna find the things you love. You're also gonna find a few things you hate, but don't get discouraged. Like I said, um, I hope this was helpful and if it was, please comment below, let me know what you liked and uh, I love to have little combos with you down there. All right, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.